Hi. Um, this is a demonstration of the sprung tuners I used in the uh, secondary hand I've been working on. Uh, I generally try to avoid talking in any of these videos because for some reason it seems like the voice always gets off sync from the at, from the uh, picture, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible to do this demonstration and have it make any sense that way, so hopefully it won't be too bad. You see here the uh, the standard string tuners, except for it's been extended out a bit. The reason why is it's a cover that sits over springs that sit on the screws. And the reason for that is it allows a little bit of additional motion in the fingers after they've uh, after one of the, them has been stopped. Usually for these hands, once a finger is interfered with, all the other fingers stop moving. On this one, I can interfere. I'll use my finger here to interfere with three of the fingers. Notice so I can still Remove the other fingers, two of the fingers, and I can now. Uh, you can get a pretty good amount of additional motion once one finger has been interfered with. Uh, that means that you get a much better, better grip in general. Uh, the fingers are able to make contact, or more of them will make contact, instead of just one first making contact being stopped and then preventing all the others from touching. So it does work pretty well. The other thing it gives you is even when the hand's at full flex, there's still some motion available to the wrist, so you're not completely uh, you're not completely locked into that wrist position. Once the fingers are closed, you have a little bit more ability to continue to move. So that's really uh, what the advantage is for the uh, for the sprung tuners. They seem to be working pretty well. Um, the uh, there is a little bit of concern I have about whether they might unscrew themselves over time, but I've used a little bit of uh, thread lock into the tuners, and uh, it seems to be working pretty well. They don't seem to be coming out. So, that's it.